Good morning, children. Huh? Who was that? Hello. Hmm. It sounds like the kind uncle we met at church yesterday. Who? The one who was giving out the sweets? The American? Ha <laughs> ha Children, you should always know thy neighbor. <laughs> Good. Now tell me, why were you looking so sad? Well, our mama has been running a temperature for the past one week. But last night it was terrible. She had high fever. Thank God, my aunt was staying with us. <laughs> my aunt called the doctor, but he said that he cannot understand her sickness. <laughs> I'm afraid, Mama is going to die. Shh! Don't speak like that, Jim. Do you know what the book of Proverbs in the Bible says? It says that life and death is in the power of your tongue. You ought to have faith. But, but Uncle, I cannot pray. My faith changes like day and night. I'm sure God will not listen to a person like me. Hmm. My son, God loves even the worst of sinners. Even Saint Peter the Apostle had a faith which flickered like Christmas lights. But didn't Jesus appoint him as the head of his holy church? Huh? Is it true? Yes, dear. Hmm, do you want to hear his story? Yes. Uncle, please tell us a story. Well, it is so nice to see you smiling again. For now, as the Bible says, do not fear, but only believe. Your mama will get well soon. Come, let's sit over there, and I'll tell you his story. Simon, who we later know as Peter, was the son of a fisherman named Jonah. He was a native of Bethsaida. He also had a brother named Andrew. When Peter grew up, he too became a fisherman like his father. One day, Jesus came to the shore along with his followers. Jesus got into an empty boat, which belonged to Peter, and he called out to Peter. Hello, my friends. Huh? Who's that? When Peter saw Jesus, he felt a strange feeling of peace flowing into him. He remembered feeling the same when his brother Simon had taken him to meet Jesus earlier. One day, Andrew came running to Peter while he was sitting outside his house. Simon, Simon, we have found the Messiah. Come, I will take you to meet him. Huh? The Messiah? Andrew then took Peter to introduce him to Jesus. Messiah, this is my brother Simon. Hmm, you are Simon, the son of John, which you will be called Cephas. Cephas, or Peter, means the rock and... But uncle, you said that Peter had a wavering faith. Like me? My son, God looks at our hearts. He hates sin, but never the sinner. Shall I continue? Sorry, please continue, uncle. So that day, Jesus was standing on the boat and speaking to the group of people gathered on the shore. When he had finished speaking to the people and the crowds dispersed, Jesus turned to Peter. God bless you for letting me use your boat. Hmm. I can see that you didn't catch anything this morning. Yes, master. It is a tough time for us here. Hmm. Now how about we go and do some fishing? Let's try the deep part of the lake. Master, we worked hard last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, we will try again. Peter had been a fisherman for so many years. He also knew that Jesus was not a fisherman. Yet there was something about Jesus that made him accept his word. They cast their net where Jesus is pointed out. But when they tried to pull the net, it was so full of fish that it began to tear. 
Peter and Andrew shouted out to their partners in the other boat to help them. Unbelievable! <laughs> I can't believe this! <laughs> and soon, both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. Hello! Please help me, my friends! My God, Simon, that is really a big catch! Yes, it is. I know. It's all because of him. Peter, Andrew, and their partners, James and John, were awestruck by the size of their catch. When they reached the shore, Peter kneeled down before Jesus, asking forgiveness. Oh Lord, please leave me. I am too much of a sinner to be around you. Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be fishers of men. Huh? Come, follow me. And that day, Peter, Andrew, John, and James became the followers of Jesus. They left with him and followed him wherever he went. Rise! As Lord Jesus went around proclaiming the kingdom of God and healing the sick, Peter followed him everywhere. He was astonished by what he saw. But being weak in character, Peter was easily influenced by what was happening around him, especially difficulties. Peter's faith still wavered, but Jesus loved him all the same. One day, Jesus told his disciples to sail away while he spent some time alone in prayer. Peter and the disciples did what they were told and took the boat away. But as they were crossing the sea, the boat was caught in a huge storm. Everyone was terrified. It's, it's a storm! The boat is sinking! Help! Help! And suddenly, they saw some sort of a light at a distance. Look! A ghost! It's a ghost! It's a ghost! Do not fear! It is me! Huh? Isn't that the voice of our master? No! It can't be! Lord! If it is really you! Tell me to come to you walking on the water! Come to me, Peter. Huh? Are you going, Simon? Mm. It's our master. I'm going to him. Careful, Simon. Take care. It was a miracle. Peter was able to walk on water. Peter couldn't believe this himself. Look, I'm walking on water. <laughs> huh? Uh, huh? But soon, Peter started getting second thoughts, and he started to sink. Oh! Oh! Lord! Save me! I'm sinking! I'm sinking! Help! You have so little faith. Why did you doubt me, Peter? But there was nothing to worry about, and Peter was saved that day. Peter and the other apostles traveled with Jesus from Gennesaret to Capernaum. From there to Tyre and Sidon. And then came to the town of Caesarea in Philippi. They had been with Jesus, heard so many sermons and seen so many miracles. But did they really know him? One day, Jesus asked them, Who do people say I am? They were quick to reply to this question. Some said John the Baptist. Some said Elijah. And others said Jeremiah or one of the other prophets. Then Jesus smiled and asked Peter, Now who do you say I am? You are the Messiah, the Son of the living God. Huh? You are blessed, Simon, son of John. You did not learn this from any human being, but my Father in heaven has revealed this to you. Now I say to you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Wow! What a reward Peter got! No wonder he stands at the gates of heaven. But will we reach heaven? At least Peter was blessed by Jesus. Jim, at our baptism we were all blessed by Jesus. 
He is our living God, and He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. We will surely reach heaven if we keep our eyes on Jesus. Wait till you listen to what followed after this. I will have to undergo great suffering and be rejected by the elders, chief priests, and scribes, and be killed. And on the third day, I will be raised. God, forbid it, Lord. This must never happen to you. Get behind me, Satan. You are stumbling block to me, for you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human beings. Oh, Peter was such a great man. If I was in his place, I would have felt offended and never go near Jesus again. The Bible tells us that God disciplines those he loves. In fact, the words which Jesus spoke after this incident must have deeply touched Peter. Mm. Wasn't that Mom? Yes. Mom, we are coming. Come, Uncle. Mom must be sick. Mom, are you all right? Mom, we will pray for you. Uh, thank you both. You are so kind. Look, Mom. This is Uncle Francis, our new friend and our neighbor. Hello, sir. Hello. Uncle Francis said we all should pray together for you to get well soon. Wow, Joanne, who taught you that? Uncle Francis taught us that, Mom. Can we pray for you, madam? Sure, sir. Come, let us pray. And Jesus took Peter's mother-in-law by the hand, and the fever left her. Huh? What's happening? The fever? It's gone? Really, mother? Yes. <laughs> I don't believe I'm saying this, but I believe I've been healed by your prayers. Thank you, uncle. Thank you so much, uncle. It's all right, kids. Now it's time for me to leave. I'll see you. Goodbye, uncle. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>